Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Muse and Park Fan 62. Uh, today's review is on Silver Dollar City. Now, this review is going to go both ways depending on if you're a fan of the park or not. I know there's going to be some people who's going to like what I say in this, and there's going to be people who don't like what I say in this. That's fine, but this is my opinion. First, the good. Now, the good, the first thing I like is for their tram system. Um, before you step on the tram, they take your temperature. Uh, and then if you are below the 100.7 or whatever that temperature is, uh, they give you a wristband and um, you go on the tram. Um, now, they take your temperature in two places. They can take it for the tram, and then they can take it before you get to the gates. Now, um, so it's both ways. Now, once you get to the gate, um, it's, it is confusing, but you just follow what the people do. Now, um, to get inside... Um, you do go through metal detectors. Now, um, their security is interesting because as long as you're, as long as it doesn't set off the metal detector, you go through. Okay. Um, now... Once you get past security, you will go to where you get your ticket scan or season pass. Now, uh, you basically hand it to them, they scan it, and you go in. Um, now, once you get inside, you will go through like two, um, gift shop type things. Um, one bigger than another, and then once you get through both of those, you get into the full park. Now, uh, you can go to the right or you can go to the left. If you go to the right, you go down toward Time Traveler. Um, you just follow that and then you'll go to different things. If you go straight, you'll, you'll go into different events and stuff like that. Now, the, th the thing that makes this park interesting is unlike Dollywood um, where you kind of have a suspicion where you're going with them you you're not really too sure because you may think you're going one way you're going another the problem is they don't have a key standout thing to be like oh yeah I gotta go this way or like Six Flags where they have those um like it's an arrow pointing. Um, now, cause I did go around Christmas. So now their Christmas event is really cool. Um, you have six and a half million lights. Um, and then you have like a tree that dances to music and other stuff like that. That is cool. And then seeing all the building with lights and everything. Um, now, um, food. Now, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. Now, I watched a video through, um, Sir Willow, and he was talking about the food at Silver Dollar City. And the, the food there is decent. Is it the best food? No, but it's decent enough. Now, please note, I did not have the skillets or something like that. Um, but um, some of the things that work good were the funnel cakes. Like they're not overly deep fried. Uh, but they're deep fried enough. 
uh, chicken tenders and fries. Those are a little bit pricey for what you get. Um, now, Molly's Mill, I think that's how you say it. Uh, that is not bad because you get like a whole, basically you get like a small holiday meal for $20. Um, now, please note this, the, um, most of the carts that they have around the park which are like Dippin' Knots and um, hot chocolate and all that. Those don't take cash. Those only take uh, credit or debit cards only. Now, how are, now the one thing I do like about them are they, it's not like a Six Flags or Cedar Fair Park where, you know, you see like vending machines and, um, ads everywhere and stuff like that it's pretty tame when it comes to that like the only vending machine i really saw was at wildfire um but other than that that's the mo they want you to get it from different restaurants and stuff uh the park is pretty clean which is good but overall i do recommend the park if you go but uh, the best thing to do is download the app on your phone for you to try and uh, use.